Segment two, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Thank you so much, Alderman Stone. And don't forget to tune in next week for the rest of the good election stuff. Um, you know what? I, I don't want to just do an Alderman Stone parade. I want to have other guests. You saw Sonny in the beginning. Um, I think it's it's my pleasure to have. I, w- I wanted Jim Nelly also, but you know Jim's taking care of his dad, who hopefully is getting better. And um, we we have right now the idea was to get the people you see frequently on the show that you've come to really grow and love, and uh, not to mention take you 300 feet underground in the deep tunnel. We're talking about the newly reelected for I don't know how many terms now, um, not just for a, a commissioner of the Water Reclamation District, but president of the Water Reclamation District, one of the truly great guys in politics today, Terry O'Brien. Hi, Abby. Thank you. Thank First of you all, thank you. Words. My pleasure. And President O'Brien, how many terms is this as president? Well, this is uh, my sixth term now, just elected on January 4th. And it's actually the other years. commissioners, the which other basically are like seven women. We have seven women on the board and uh, one other commissioner, Frank Avila. Right. Is the, is the eighth person and myself, so... Um, it's a good board. Um, everybody's come with some new ideas and some uh, great ideas, and you know we'll work together. Um, it's, it started out very well. I think uh, there's a learning curve for some of the new members that are coming on the board, but uh, I think they'll uh, they'll provide some uh, direction, some vision for the agency. Well, hopefully, and uh, you know we hope it's a good group of people. You've got uh, yeah, that's two new commissioners. You've got Commissioner Shore and Commissioner Horton uh, has joined us as the new commissioners, and then we've got. Uh, Commissioner, uh, our Vice President Kathleen Meany, our Chairman of Finance Gloria Majewski, Commissioner Frank Avila, Pat Young, Cynthia Santos, Barbara McGowan. So, and by the way, to the most important person as far as I'm concerned, other than you, in the Water Collection District, hi Kathleen, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so what does she do? <laughs> what does she do? Actually, she works, she's one of the people that answers the phone up. There you go. You know, I want to tell you, I've been going to. You, you've been thank God in office long enough that when I went to. Um, Went to some of this stuff after the election. Uh, I really know just, I know like so much of the staff. I've never been in the water reclamation office itself, but I know so many of your staff members, it's not even funny. Yeah, you've just been in the tunnel, Abby. Oh, the tunnel's been you've twice. Seen, you've seen some, been something that nobody, a lot of people haven't seen. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to see. But, uh, and uh, so anyway, you know what? We've got an election coming up. Very important one for a very important person. And, uh, you know, I'm here to offer my support and my endorsement to uh, Alderman Bernie Stone, um, who has always been a hard worker for this community and continues to be a hard worker for this community. I grew up in this community and uh, was a Ron and Rockwell. Exactly, was a young child uh, when he first started his uh, term as alderman, and um, he has always been responsive uh, to the needs of his his constituents uh, when they've had problems. He's a hardworking uh, individual. He, he's a full-time hard-working individual because uh, uh, I had the the opportunity to serve uh, under him uh, and he was one of my mentors with regards to um, getting involved in public office and uh, I can tell you from personal experience not only having worked for him but have worked with him on different issues that um, He's there, and he's there for his constituents, and he's responsive to his constituents. And there's not a lot of public officials that you can say that are responsive. Yeah, and he's sharp as a tack, which is something that I wish the... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. The other three people can't begin to say that. Yeah. He's and, sharper than all three of them put together. You know, I mean, age means nothing, and I know there's been a lot of issues, you know... Well, the funny thing this, is, in this community, you know, first of all, there's so many... You know, the Jewish people, Oriental people, many of the other cultures, we, we respect and revere age. The, the fact is he keeps, if you keep your mind active and sharp and still going, he's got a wealth of experience. He doesn't have to spend 30 hours doing something that he knows how, how to get going in, in just, you know, several hours. Yeah, I, I, and I can tell you, I, I mean, when there started to be a big changeover on Devon Avenue, when I, when I was working with the alderman, um, he worked hard with those people to make sure that they got their businesses set up. You know that there wasn't any, you know, glitches or whatever with with City Hall, and he kind of smoothed things, you know, so that they could get their businesses open and running. And uh, for people who say he doesn't work with this community or work with businesses in this community, uh, I think they're full of hogwash. To tell you it's the truth, absolutely, and he uh, treats people with put respect bluntly. beyond uh, beyond belief. And, and and it's up to people and the people that <clears throat> complain. Um, you know, it's funny because one of the people who's a real complainer. 
Um, she mentioned herself on one of the blogs just now that she's she can be really obnoxious. And lady, that's why you never get results, not just from her, but the police. Everybody knows about you in this neighborhood, and they don't like you. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, don't complain. Work with somebody. Yeah, that's you know, the whole complaining point. doesn't do anything. It reminds me of the Monday morning quarterback and all the people that were, you know, complaining about Rex Grossman. You know, mm. hey, it's a team effort. You know, and uh, rather than you know fight, why don't you just join and help? Uh, yeah. And then things things will get done. But uh, my mother always told me you catch more flies with uh, honey than you do with vinegar. Yeah, uh, kill them with kindness. Right, absolutely. And um, you know, I mean, you know, Bernie's in relations to our agency. We've had issues over the years, and you know, there was one issue where someone wanted to lease property at Tui and uh, Tui and Kedzie on the North Shore Channel, and he came to us, and you know, we said, "Hey, what does your community want?" And he says, "We do not want that there." And we want to keep it open, passive recreation area for our residents. Because of his wishes, we did what he asked us to do. Otherwise, but you he could have a mega complex. Exactly. I mean, you, and, and good, not only mega complex, but the problems that come along with, you know, commercial entities along a waterway, you know, with potential pollution going into the water system. The fill-in stadium. I mean, here's something, you know, they talk about Bernie being an older fellow. Well, what's he doing? He's doing something for the youth. Something for the little baseball players, the girls and boys, giving them an opportunity to play in a, ma a major league stadium. When Mel Fillins came to me, one of the first persons I went to was Bernie Stone because I know how interested Bernie was in keeping that particular facility viable and useful for the residents, not only of his community, but throughout the county. And, uh, you know, we had problems with, you know, Lincolnwood taking it over uh, because they didn't have the revenue. We sat down, we brainstormed, and we came up with the idea of uh, using a park district to give them a lease to operate it. And now today, because we sat down and went through all that, you know, with his help and the help of the mayor, we were able to get this thing resolved. And now they're, you know, they're upgrading the stadium, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And it's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime for young kids to be able to play in a major league stadium, whether it's little league or softball. It's fun. I played there. It's 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 it's, it's, an, it's an event. Javi, I can't tell you how many phone calls I received when people heard that Thillen Stadium was going to be closing from upper management people throughout this county and virtually throughout the state who played there as little kids and wanted to help financially to support the continuing operation over there. I mean, it was just unbelievable the phone calls we got. And as you well know, the Cubs stepped up to the plate. SNC Electric, a community company, stepped up to the plate and helped out with, you know, financing some of the changes over there. Which I think has been terrific. Um, you know, and, and that's not even to mention, and, and you know, I see the false rumors being spread by, by the lies, actually not false rumors, being spread opponents about what, what they're talking about could happen to the land, you know, north of Tui along Kedzie. But we don't have time for that. As a matter of fact, I'm knocking out most of the beginning of the show because you've been great. I want to thank very much Terry O'Brien, president of the Water Reclamation District. And on Election Day in Chicago, what are you going to do? Vote for Alderman Bernard Stone. That and sounds, I want you to also. That sounds great, and I will too. Sonny will too. We all will. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. See you. Bye-bye.